Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Learn to Fly 3. Alright, so in our last two videos we not only made it to space but we made it to the moon. Uh, but in the comments you guys told me I need to head to the black market. This place looks shifty. But if we want to fly pull our penguin even higher, we're going to have to use some black market upgrades. Let's go see what they've got. Alright, so you can see I've got a hundred sardines to play with. You know, a lot of these things cost more than that, which is a bit annoying. I can afford these, the cheat options. Ever wanted a bunch of useless options? <laughs> Wish grunt. Now, I'm quite intrigued by Australia mode. I assume gravity just works upwards. Uh, or we can buy booster packs. I do like opening booster packs. Oh right, yeah, let's open some booster packs, right? So we can get one pack of five cards for 30 sardines. All right, let's do it. Purchase complete. So we get to pick which one we want. All right, so we've got Penguin Power, Meccano Madness, Rocket Science, and Knowledge is Power. So these unlock like new parts. I think being an engineer, we've got to go with Knowledge is Power. Got some bonus points. Consumable. Boring. Oh, an orbital cannon. That's pretty cool. A solar turbine. Oh, wow. And a new body. Sweet. Let's buy another pack. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, what one should we go for this time? I feel like rocket science is a bit too sciencey for an engineer. And a mechanic. I don't know. It's a little bit, it's a little bit cliche for an engineer, that one. So we're going to go power. Power. Oh, wow. Sweet. We've got four new items now. We've got the Pingu Balloon, the Rocket Launcher, the Jetpack Body, and the Dubstep Drive. <laughs> Wob. <laughs> right, we're done for the day. And I think we'll, we'll start from the beginning. We're going to start a brand new story in slot three, just to annoy some people. So I think this is where we get to raise how high our target is, how high space is. We've done the 200,000, so let's, let's up it to 500,000. And if we complete this, we get six cards per game. Right, so we've got 20 quid. I think we'll start with a launcher. And it's just going to be the coil, the standard coil from the start. We will upgrade you one as well. We also have the bonus shop. So there is all sorts of things in here, but I feel like I want to get my bonus points up. So if I use this one, the Fidelity card, uh, for every day that passes by, we'll get three bonus points. We may as well use that and then we get an extra three bonus points every single day. I feel like we should just go wild and spend all our bonus points. So we'll boost our income. Oh god, that was quite expensive. Oh god, right, we've spent it now, balls. <laughs> Uh, we'll get some more oomph out of our launchers. A little bit more fuel. And I'm going to upgrade this one because it uses the word knob. Ready? Boing! Alright, so this is, our, this is basically our baseline. I think we got to like two and a half-ish thousand. And look, we're a record setter. <laughs> we beat every record. Alright, I think it's time to use one of our new boosts already. So we're going to use the Pingu Balloon. And we'll upgrade our coil as much as we can. Alright, let's launch. Look at our Pingu Balloons! <laughs> right. Launch them now. Oh god, I can't remember what launch button is. Or is that it? Is that all the balloon does? Oh, we beat some records. But I think we we're less aerodynamic. We didn't go as fast. Oh, here we go. I probably should have read what the pingy balloon does. It just makes you lighter. So for each upgrade, the weight goes down, the roundness goes up, and then the penguinness <laughs> will go up at some point. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I assume roundness sort of affects our aerodynamics. We'll have to see. Right, that was pretty high. That was over 3,000 meters. Meters, feet, I don't know what it is. Oh, it did make us faster. Cool. I don't think we've ever used the slingshot yet. So I think we'll, we'll give this a bash. And we'll make ourselves a lot lighter as well. Oh no, I've got to do something. Hold down any key to pull, but be careful not to pull too much. All right. When things go red, it's usually too far. Boing. I think that was bad. Oh, 4,000 meters. Celebratory backflip. Nice. Yeah, way better. Decent. All right, so our slingshot is now level four. And look at that. It's way better. I've got, I've got two little dudes. I think the, these are Paul's kids again, helping him. So if you remember in the last video, this is Paul. He uh, he went up into space with his kids and uh, they fell off. And well, we won't go into any more details. This time now his kids are staying firmly on the ground. And this time he's taking balloons with their faces drawn on. Just so he can feel like his kids are going without all the dangers of going into space. Right, so to make this go as high as possible, we've got to let go just before it goes red. Yes, we are flying. Eight and a half thousand feet meters units. Look at that. Records broken all round. Right, I feel like we're going to add a stage and we're going to go all out balloon. So we've got a max level balloon. Let's see how much this helps. Ready? Boing. Oh yes, look at that balloon go. Penguin in space. We got to space. That's uh, surprising. All right, so now I've got a max level slingshot, max level balloon, and a max level pingu balloon. Oh, wow. Some of Paul's kids' friends have come to help because this is a big catapult. Oh, 12,000 feet, 13,000 with the balloon. Nice. I think that's our highest yet. So we've got 285 quid for that round. I think it's time to sell the pingu balloon and add a body. And I want to try out the pixels. 
What is this? Low resolution for low drag. Yeah, but this gives us extra slots in our stages and boosts. So in our boost, there's quite a few that we haven't used yet. We definitely haven't used a dodger. That sounds cool. So we'll have one of them. And then as we're only cheap, we may as well add some more balloons. I'm not entirely sure we've used a spin booster either. All right, so let's give our new pixels a go. And we've got two new boosts to try out as well. <laughs> that looks really strange. Ready? Boosh. Oh, the spin boosters help us turn. Interesting. Uh, oh god, what's the actual boost? I couldn't remember how to use the actual boost. I think I have to use that one up first. That's stupid. <laughs> right, I don't think I need that one quite yet. We'll swap it for repeller. Pushes back anything in your way. So this should stop objects knocking into my face. Oh, here we go. Dodger. Double tap left or right to strafe. Okay, so yeah, we don't actually need that one if we've got the repeller on. So we'll sell that. And we'll swap it for the fuel canister. We haven't used the fuel canister yet. But you can never have too much fuel. Yeah, so this carries extra fuel for all other stages and boosts. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have any fuel anywhere. Right, so now it's time to take this seriously. So we're going to try out our new bazooka. So that's what we just unlocked in our booster card pack recently. For our body, we're going to use the spearhead. Fastest ship we've got, shame it cannot be controlled. Well, that's fine, I only plan to go up. And then for our stage, I feel like we want to save money and get the RPG. So I think we'll just go with that for now. What is going on here? <laughs> Have I got to like wait for him to shoot upwards or something? Press any key to fire the bazooka. I don't know where I want the bazooka to go. Does it want to go like there? At my feet? Holy sh... <laughs> okay, that was quite high. I literally cannot turn this left or right. So this might be one I want to use the spin booster things on. Oh, wow, 600 quid for that. And you know what that means. We can afford the RPG. So let's see if the RPG will help. It might not as we can't turn. 26,000. I will take that. 660 quid for our efforts. All right, so let's try and work out what this dude does. All right, so launching straight down. Ready? Boosh. Oh, wow. Okay, that really sent us off in the wrong direction. <laughs> we went so far. <laughs> and we hit Flappy Bird. Yeah, that wasn't great. So now we'll see if this dude points upwards as much as possible. What that does. Ready? Now. Oh, God. Okay, that sends us the other direction. <laughs> So I feel like I was right initially. We want to do the like 45 degree one. All right, it's ready. I think when he's like pointing at me. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Straight up. Just under 34,000 feet. Lovely. And that's nearly a grand we got there. So now we can upgrade our bazooka. Oh, and that adds loads on. The power goes up by like 50%. So we'll definitely have that. Oh, we're a little bit wonky. We're going left. We're going left way too much. But still 39,500 feet. I'll take that. And with that, we can upload our spearhead, which increases our top speed. So if we can get a straight launch, we should be gravy. Oh, not bad, not bad. We're over 42,000, 43, 44, 44 and a half thousand. And we didn't even go upright. 1300 quid, we'll be upgrading in no time. All right, so just notice if I can upgrade my spearhead again, we unlock another stage slot and another boost slot. And if I unlock a boost slot, I can add the turning. So I'm actually going to sell our RPG so that I can upgrade that. And then I can go into our boosts and I'm going to add a spin booster. And that will allow us to steer, I hope. Now yeah, we've got two stages or we can upgrade the booster. I'm tempted because it's such a big increase. The power goes from 3,380 to 4,560. I'm going to do that. And we've got 720 quid. So let's add some stages. We'll get our RPG back and then add a rocket in our other slot. Right. Let's see how this does. I am steering. That's an insane record. Just under 60,000 feet, which equates to nearly two grand. So I think we'll upgrade the bazooka again. Yeah, 66,000. So that added another 10% onto our height. Definitely money well spent. So I think we'll just keep upgrading. Power 6,900. Oh, here we go. We're, we're over 80,000. I do worry about our penguin. There doesn't seem to be any parachutes on this. Like, what happens after this bit? All right, nearly got three grand for that. So things are looking fantastic. We're able to upgrade the bazooka after every single round. And now we've got a visual upgrade. This is a big one. Look at his gun. It's changed. Yeah. Oh, look at the numbers fly. We might crack 100,000. 98. Oh, not quite. The wind's got us. 99. All right. How much moolah is that going to be? 3,853 quid. Not bad for a day's work. But again, the bazooka needs to be upgraded. Nothing else. All right, here we go. That's a good launch as well. Going straight up. We hit quite a bit of debris on the way, but 110,000 already. And there's a flying trampoline. 113,000. Four and a half thousand quid. I've upgraded the bazooka. I'm actually going to upgrade my spearhead as well. 
That gets us an extra stage and also a higher top speed. So I'm going to add another RPG. And let's take off and get the angle right. Boosh. Oh, we're a bit wonky. We are a bit wonky. The old way. What does the old way mean? Go on, RPG. Take us higher. Yes. 135,000. Lovely. 6,400 quid. Damn. All right, that was a good launch. That was straight up. Oh, we just destroyed a bird. <laughs> oh, we're nearly higher than the glider. He's running. Oh, here we go. Screw you, glider. <laughs> 166,000 feet. Nice. What, what are we aiming for again? I think it was 500,000. So we're still quite a way off. But we have a max level bazooka now. Boosh. Oh man, it's the one from the Arnie film. Can we sell that rocket and replace it with an RPG? Yes, we can. Triple RPG. Our bazooka's only got two holes, but somehow three rockets come out. Power of engineering. Let's go. Ready? Boosh. Straight up. Oh wow, that is flying. That is absolutely flying. We smashed our previous record. Sorry, parachuting baby penguin. 180 above the bird. That is what I'm talking about. Just shy of 10 grand for our troubles, which means we can upgrade our body to max level. The fastest ship we have. We'll spend the rest on RPG upgrades. They're all level four now. Ready if I can time this right. Boosh, there it is, straight up. Oh wow, we are actually flying. We're gonna hit 200,000 easy, I reckon. As long as no obstacles stand in our way. Yeah, we're over 200. Oh, you damn Chinook. Damn Chinook. 220, 230,000. There she is. I call that a success. All right, so we can keep going. We can add another stage, another boost. But I feel like our RPGs aren't aren't that good. So let's sell all the RPGs and see what else we can have. We did unlock some new ones. We got the solar turbine, which does sound interesting. So it requires altitude to function at max power, uh, which is over 150,000 feet. So hopefully we can get there without using the stage and then we'll be in a good place. And every upgrade actually brings the altitude down. So maybe I'll just fully upgrade this one as much as I can with our money. So we've got 231 to beat. Going straight up. All oh, the turbines are out. Oh wow, they don't give you a lot of power, but they do just send you on your way. It could take a while. I'm a bit worried I'm going to use up all of my spinny, turny stuff as well. Oh man, it's taking ages. Come on. Come on, game. All right, I have no steering left now. You just got to leave it to it and see where it takes us. Oh no, the wind's blowing us that way. <laughs> you want to go up, not down? Oh, I think it's over. It's over. There's a banana. Oh, the banana nearly knocked us on course. No, we're heading down. We did not beat our record of 230,000, unfortunately. But we did get 15 grand for that flight. All right, so how about what if we were to add some extra fuel? Because that will fuel our booster. So we'll up that a few levels as well. We can also, we may as well upgrade our solar turbine. That's level 10 now. As long as we can keep it straight, I feel like we could break a record. We've just got to be patient. I'm a bit worried as well. I've added extra fuel, which is also going to fuel our solar thing, no doubt. So even though it runs on the power of the sun, I'm sure we boost it with some fossil fuels. Oh, sorry, bird. Oh, sorry, penguin. <laughs> I do. I feel like those penguins that you see, they're like your penguins from the last flight. Right, this one's been a lot better. I feel like it's been a bit less windy this round. Weather will beat 231,000 feet though. I'm not sure, especially not if a banana is going to fly into us. Cheaper bananas. Oh, here we go. 231. Yes, we did it. So we had to be very patient, but we did beat the record. <laughs> 242,000. How much cash will that give us? 18 grand. Lovely. All right, I feel like it's time to try a different launcher. Bazooka was fun, but we've got so many others to try. Yeah, we've got our orbital cannon. Which looks like it could be the best one I've ever had. So we're good. I'm not going to do the solar turbo because I can't be bothered to wait that long every time. Let's try the dubstep drive. That was a new one as well. So I think we'll keep everything else as it was. And we'll just try these on level one just to see what they're like. So, oh God, what is going on? Use the keyboard to stay on target. Oh, okay. So I got to I got to aim. Oh, we're just off target. It's close. It's close. Boosh. Oh, that's the dubstep coming out. <laughs> what is this? Uh, okay, 80... 80 Oh, 81,000. That wasn't very impressive. That was pathetic. Okay, right, let's upgrade our orbital cannon. That's max level now. And then dubstep drive as much as we can. Level 7. Oh, look how much we fell. <laughs> that was terrible. That is the downside with trying out new techniques. I right, gotta try and stay on the penguin. Yes, we're green. We're green. It's gonna be a good one. And it's max level, so this is as high as it will take us. Holy, oh, wow. Okay, yep, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. I take everything back. We're having a rave. 291,000 feet. And we wobbed the whole way up. 20 grand. Decent. Uh, do we have any other bodies? We know this is the fastest one. But what else do we actually have? Oh, we've got the jetpack, which we haven't used yet. 
So I don't think we'll need the spin boosters anymore, so we can get rid of that. So we've got no stages, but we do have two boost slots to use. So I haven't given this repeller a try yet. So that should push objects out of my way, which would be nice. Yeah, so let's just try this out for now. I've got 57 grand waiting, but I want to try the unupgraded version first and then see what the upgrade gives us. Oh god, get on the green. Yes, we're on the green. Oh, what does our penguin look like? <laughs> what is that face? Okay, pretty good. 120,000. Our jetpack just taking us the rest of the way. What is the square thing on his head, though? <laughs> What is that? Oh, sorry, bird. All right, so if we max out this jetpack, if we have enough money. Yes, we do. Oh, it's gone golden. That's when you know it's good. And we've got four boost slots. So I feel like our repeller was doing something. It won't give us any extra height, but an F1 bell nozzle definitely will. We'll add two of them. No, we'll add three of them. Feeling greedy. Okay, that's good. Yes. Oh, have we got Iron Man's face? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, that went up really high, but it didn't seem to get us very far. Bell nozzles away. <laughs> oh, we can launch them at any time. I can do individual ones as well. So I can just use one. Nice. Switch to the other one. Because I think the bar on the right, I feel like there's not much point in having that maxing out. I think I'm going to wait for this jetpack to run out before hitting the last one. It's ready. It's about to run out. And now the bell nozzle. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 260,000 just about. Good work, Iron Man. Alright, jetpack is done. We've tried that now. Time to try the elf waiter. Increase stage power for a short period. Okay, so stages could be important. I don't think we've tried a banshee yet. So let's add one of them. Who said propellers were weak? Damn architects, that's who. So two of those. And then our boosts want to be... What do they want to be? Stick with the bell nozzles, I think. What is an Elfuego? I need to Google this. Oh man, that bird got nailed. <laughs> Absolutely nailed. Oh, to be honest, these propellers are bloody weak. What is that? We're not even going up. To be fair though, what, what shape is that currently on screen? I do quite like this one. It's growing on me. <laughs> now I've noticed that this could be my favorite ship yet. Elfuego, you're getting max. Gonna add another propeller. I just want to see if we max them out. Let's max the first one out. So I don't. I really don't know if they're any good. The shape is fantastic. Oh, okay, maxed out. They're quite good. The propellers. We are climbing quite high. We're slowing down quite a lot though. So let's give it a bit of a boost just to help us out. I'm worried about how much fuel we've got left. We still got two very slow propellers to go. Oh man, this is even more painful than the bloody solar one. <laughs> All right, that's those run out, and now we're on to the level one propeller. Will this even make us go up? We're basically hovering. I'm going to use a bell nozzle. Boosh. Oh, we could hit 300,000. Oh, the helicopter stopped us. No. <laughs> you bastard helicopter. 25 grand though. Fair play. That took bloody ages, but it could have been worth it. All right, still not happy with this layout. So we're going to sell everything. And we're going to use nuclear power. Yep. Half-life confirmed. <laughs> so I'm going to max this out as well. All right, I want to know if we just shove a penguin in a nuclear reactor, how high does he go? No other boosts. No, anything. Oh, they've dropped a rod in. Boosh. 90,000. Okay. What if we shove him in an escape pod? Stores up to one bird. Now, I don't think we've used ramjets yet. So let's give those a bash. They're both maxed out. And let's add some boost. I'm going to go with the multi-rockets. We haven't used these yet this round. Ready? Boosh. Oh, wow. That looks incredible. Will it go as high, though? That is the question. All right, I'm using the multi-rockets. I'm going to do one at a time this time. I've, I feel like that's like a new technique I should be using a bit more. Because previously, I just went all out power. I didn't spread them out enough. I think if our needle is in the red, then it's good enough. All right, here we go. We've beaten our record. And we're on the escape pod bit. Ow! <laughs> our penguin's head was out. It just smashed into an airship. Oh, the penguin going where no penguin has gone before. 353,000. Still climbing. 360,000 jobs are good and a passenger airline is still above us though. 30 grand. All right, I want to keep the nuclear reactor. It's quite nice not having to mess about trying to get the max shot or anything. Can we find the one with the top speed? So they lied. It's not the spearhead, 25. It's the bullet, 30. So we'll fully upgrade the bullet so it's golden. And we got 147 grand to mess about with stages and boosts. I don't know that. I've tried the Sonic Drive, actually. So we'll give that a bash. Build the wub. It's got subwoofers on the side of it. All right, so the stats for the maxed out dubstep drive. Weight 10, dub 35, wub 800, <laughs> max lift 80. Okay, so the Sonic Drive max level actually has a higher max lift than the dubstep drive, but it has no double wub. So can it be trusted, really? Oh, <laughs> the penguin started nuclear war by spilling his coffee. All right, it's sort of sending us high, which is good. 
Alright, get ready for the dub and the wub. <laughs> oh, that is actually sending us wall high. Oh, that's a, that's a new record. Oh, we would have got 400,000. That bloody jet wasn't in the way. Still, 34 grand. Can't complain too much. If we sell the nuclear reactor, I know. I know. I tend to go back to Russian roulette. I just want to see... Because this is what made us split the moon in half last time. The golden bullet with Russian roulette. Because this is all about getting a red bullet. Or is it the golden one? I can't remember what's better. One of them's better. Come on, Red, there she is. Oh, yes. Oh, no, we're facing the wrong way. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to dubstep to the moon. Here we go. 433... 34,000, nearly. It's our best height yet. What if we do the orbital cannon again? It should be way better, to be fair. We've got 105 grand spare. <laughs> How about then? What's better than the dubstep drive? The shuttle reactor costs a bomb. All right, four max level shuttle reactors, orbital cannon, and the golden bullet. Let's go. 433,000 to beat. Got to keep it in the green, loot. Oh, no, it's orange. It's orange. I messed up. I messed up, guys. This, however, seems to be a good run. We're on 325,000 already, and we've still got two and a half boosters left. I right, just yeeted a passenger plane out the way, and we are still going up. We're about to hit 400,000. And again, not to be rude, but the top of this rocket, again, looks like that shape. We've just got a new flight time record. I think we're going to get space, people. I think we've done it. 500,000 is what we're aiming for. Ow, ow. Damn you, meteorite thing. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Reaching space. Five, four, three, two, one. We're there. We still had loads of fuel left. I feel like if I had got the, the orbital launch on green, we could have done even better. There goes Paul. Go on, Paul. You got this, son. Ready? Boosh, into the moon. Lovely. Ah, oh, happy endings all around. Right, so I've unlocked a new booster pack. I feel like, let's let's try the mechanic one out now. See what he's got for us. Ooh, dark matter boost. And the power of steam. Right, thanks for joining, guys. That was another bash and learn to play three. Got a load of new upgrades to try next time. Uh, peace, love, and penguins. I'll catch you next time. Bye.